get rid of the losers in your life or you'll become one and i mean that with the utmost respect hi guys my name is dime and i motivate people to not only elevate themselves but to also invest into themselves through advice and open discussions today we'll be discussing getting rid of losers or people that are just not good for you we might have those people we've grown up with but yet we have outgrown them in a way and we realize that they portray certain behaviors that we do not agree with or we would never do. Sometimes those behaviors are against a lot of morals or unethical or dangerous. Even though you don't, you may not do what they do, if you hang around them for so long, you will unconsciously put yourself in the same situations that they are putting themselves in. Like if you are a good person and you hang around not so good people for so long, you slowly start to become that. I think it's important to know that who you are surrounded by are your biggest influencers. Oftentimes I hear people say, birds of a feather really don't flock together or what my friends do, I don't do that so it doesn't really matter. And although that may be true, Please advise that a lot of people judge you based off your your group and who you surround yourself with and who your friends are. Oftentimes there are there are reasons we are friends with someone, but sometimes we outgrow someone and that's how, you know, friendships may end and you have to realize that either you have outgrown them or they've outgrown you. But they just don't have the mindset to grow as a person, but you do. And that's what separates you from them. And that's when you have to learn to let people go because people who don't want to work on themselves, people who don't want to better themselves, oftentimes drag down people that are around them to their level. And if you are the type of person who wants to rise above the masses and become a better person yet you are surrounded by people who never want to be better they will do nothing but drag you down i feel like this year personally from my experience i had to sit back and really evaluate my circle and you know group of friends and realize who i'm surrounded by and if i want to be like the people i am around and if you feel like you're around people that you don't aspire to be like or around people that do not better you. Sometimes you have to rock alone. You have to shed that dead weight in those, and leave those, those friendships that have ended and manifest better ones. And it may take a while. You may have to be alone for a while in order for you to attract people that are better for you. Quickest way to determine whether you are surrounded by good people is how focused you are on your life and in your life's journey. If you feel like you are often distracted from who you really are, you're not around good people or people that want to elevate you and, and who challenge you to grow. For example, if you find yourself like wanting to achieve a certain goal or wanting to develop yourself into something better and you realize every time you're around the people you are around or around certain friends that they kind of distract you from being who you want to be instead of pushing you towards who you want to be then you have to step back and reevaluate who you hang around because that sort of friendships or relationships with people who don't push you to be better or who don't care to be better themselves will just hinder you from being a better person overall and it's up to you to rise above that and sometimes that means you're gonna lose them but that's okay because you won't lose you i'd rather lose people than lose myself i'd rather achieve my goals and be the person who i want to be than to stay where I am right now or stay at one level for the rest of my life just to keep certain people around me. Sometimes striving for better might cost a friendship, it might cost a relationship, it might cost anything, but if they were really for you, they would grow with you and they would go through life journey with you and they would understand you. And if they don't understand you, they would 
get to understanding you. They will try to understand you. And I think it's so funny, yet so cool how every time maybe a relationship ends or a friendship ends, something better always comes along. Something or someone better. And that relationship will show me how much I've grown. And it's just it's just crazy. And I feel like that's the way of life. I forget the saying. But when you lose something, there's all when you lose something, there's always a a better gain, and I forget what that theory is called, but I heavily believe in that theory that whatever wants to leave, leave because whatever's coming is going to be a hundred percent better. And I know the title of this video is pretty harsh, but I mean it. I really mean it. Like get rid of the people that you know. And you know those people, you know those type of relationships that you may have that are not helping you elevate in any way. Let that go. Let let them go so you can make room for better people and better experiences in your life. And I'm saying that for me, I'm saying that for you too. And this is just a reminder for me and you to let go of all that, let go of the losers.